All right, in this video, I'm going to be talking about combinations. So this goes along with permutations. So if you haven't seen permutations, I suggest you do that before looking at combinations. So combinations is an arrangement where order does not matter. So how this differs from permutations Permutations of order does matter. Combinations is where their arrangement where the order does not matter. So that's the difference between the two. Permutations, order matters. Combinations, order does not matter. So we do have a formula for this. So we have n total objects, C for combinations, and we're going to choose R of them. N choose R. So the way this is going to work is we're going to have n factorial in the numerator. And the denominator, we're going to have n minus r factorial times r factorial. Now, if you're not sure, again, what factorial, the exclamation point means that is a factorial, n factorial. So example, like 3 factorial, that's like 3 times 2 times 1. Um, do know there is a special case where you have 0 factorial, which is just 1. So, first example, you are preparing for a trip. Um, you have, should be any of there, you have a list of seven books to read, but you can bring only three with you on the trip. How many combinations of books are possible? So when you're going through these problems, again, you need to ask yourself, does order matter or not? So you're picking three books. Does the order of those books matter or not? So if you said, oh, I have Dr. Seuss, this and that, is that any different saying I got this, that, and Dr. Seuss? No, you have the same, it's the same thing. The order doesn't matter. So this is a combination problem. So that's how you know that. So we need to figure out how many total am I choosing from? So we, are, we have a list of seven books to read, but you can bring only three with you. So there's seven total. That's going to be our N, because remember, it's NCR. And then we have to figure out, well, how many am I choosing out of the seven? Well, I'm bringing three. So we have seven combination three. So if I plug into the formula, well, that's going to be seven factorial divided by seven minus three parentheses factorial times three factorial. Um, now, we could sit there and plug in and, and do all that. Our calculator, again, will handle a lot of this. So I just plug into the formula to show, hey, I know what's going on here. But then I'm going to let the calculator go the rest of the way. So, <clears throat> again, if we want to do seven choose, you know, combination three, uh, we have to start with a seven first. So I type in a seven first. And then you want to go to your math button. Math button, go all the way over to probability, and go to NCR, option number three. So we have seven, NCR, three, hit enter, and we get 35 as our answer. So there are 35 different combinations of three books I can get from seven books total. All right, one more example. So a restaurant is giving free pizzas to two customers selected at random from a group of 30. Oh, it's off the page. Restaurant is giving free pizzas to two customers selected at random from a group of 30. You and a friend enter the drawing. So we want to know what is the probability that both of you win a free pizza. So we want to know what's the probability that both of you get a free pizza. Well, let's think about that. Does... So they're going to draw two names, and they get a free pizza. So does Joe and Tim differ from someone drawing Tim than Joe? No, because they both won. It doesn't matter who's drawn first or second. They're both winners. So the order does not matter. That's how we know this is a combination problem. All right. So we got to think about this. Since this does say keyword, they want a probability. Again, we're thinking about the part over the whole. So what's the specific scenario they're wanting? They're wanting to know you and a friend into the drawing, what's the probability that you both win? So they want to know both win, so you and your friend win, and the whole would be all combinations of winners. 
So let's think about that. If you and your friend win, how many different ways can you make a group of you and your friend? Well, it could be you and your friend, friend and you, but again, order doesn't matter. So there's only one way that is going to happen. So we gotta figure out, well, what's the total amount of outcomes? What's the total amount that this can happen? Well, how many total people are we choosing from? It says we're choosing from a group of 30, so we're gonna have 30, and I know this is a combination, so I'm gonna use C for combination, not permutation. And I'm going to choose two out of the 30. So 30 choose two. So that's the same as one divided by, and you could go into the formula here if you want to, so 30 factorial divided by 30 minus two factorial times two factorial. But I'm just gonna use uh, my calculator to figure out that bottom piece. And when I do that, top is still one. Uh, 30 combination two, when you do that in a calculator, you're going to get 435. So that what is the probability that both you and your win for win a free pizza? It happens one in 435 is the probability there. And that was combinations as it relates to probability.